Hello and welcome to this edition of North Penn News. I'm Lauren Schwartz. And I'm Aubrey Kenderdine. In our first story. One of North Penn's very own, Mr. Bill Bartle, was recently deemed a superhero by the United Way. I'm the Flash. I'm, uh, I can't reveal actually where I live. Uh, it's a secret location. Uh, but I'm working with the North Penn United Way today, honoring superheroes of the community who contribute to help the children of Indian Valley. And of course, Bill Bartles, who I saw today, who is a big contributor, and gave him a secret superhero instructions which he will be following, and uh, we do appreciate his service and all the other people who contribute to our uh, to our cause here in the community. Greetings. Uh, yes. I'm, I'm here to invite you to join my rank as a superhero. I hope you will agree to use your powers for good to help the children of the uh, North Penn United Way and the children of, of Indian Valley, I should say. Please accept this box. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Insider details pertaining to your special mission. Please open it and follow the instructions inside as soon as possible. I certainly will. An agent from the United Way will be calling you shortly. May the force okay. be with you, sir. Appreciate it very much. Yes. Okay, and I will do what I can to help. Thank you. Okay. We appreciate your, right. your contributions. Thank and, you very and thank much. Thank you very appreciate much for your support. It's quite an honor. Thank yes, you. Yes, yes. Appreciate well, it very thank, much. Thank you. Thank you. Honestly, I had no idea when he walked in. I was not really sure once I saw you, okay, and the other individuals, and then Mr. Hines smiling behind everyone. So uh, it was, but then uh, obviously when I found out, uh, it's quite an honor, and uh, uh, I will certainly uh, do my best to uh, assist the United Way in reaching their goals. Okay. Thank you. The annual reorganization meeting of the North Penn School District Board of School Directors was held Monday, December 2nd. Sworn in for four-year terms were Josephine Charnock, Timothy Kerr, Frank O'Donnell, and Vincent Sherpinski. The school board also re-elected Mr. Sherpinski as board president and Mr. Kerr as vice president. For more information about school board and school board committee meetings, please visit www.mpen.org. The 63rd annual Mardi Gras parade was held in downtown Linesdale on Saturday, November 23rd. MPSD groups were proud to represent their team, band, classmates, and coworkers. Special thanks to all of the MPSD participants, including the North Penn Marching Knights, MPHS baseball team, MPHS Knight Riders, MPSD middle school bands, the North Penn Alumni Association, and many more. It is with great pride that MPSD once again features student artwork in a holiday card from Dr. Dietrich to the staff and community. Students from A.M. Culp Elementary School, Hatfield Elementary School, Penfield Middle School, and North Penn High School designed and submitted artwork for this card, and one winner from each school was selected by Dr. Dietrich. Special thanks to the teachers and students who participated in this annual contest. The artistic talent of both staff and students runs deep in MPSD, making the task of choosing the selected artwork extremely difficult each year. Those pieces not selected are just as beautiful and will be displayed in the Educational Services Center beginning December 9th for everyone to enjoy. North Penn senior athletes committed to colleges this past week at the NCAA recognition ceremony. North Penn news reporter Christina Stidham has more. Okay. Last Ready? night, seven yeah. North Penn High School seniors officially signed their letters of intent to play a sport at the collegiate level. Gabby DiDemuzio, Ashley Durham, and Caitlin Suzuki all committed to playing lacrosse, and Eve Costin to swimming. Erin Mayer and Vicki Tumaz committed to basketball, and Noah Melcher to baseball. Athletics Director Doc Ryan and Assistant Director Melanie Cedars presented the athletes and their selected colleges. They were thanked for their athletic and academic achievements at North Penn. The students were given the chance to talk about why they chose their specific college and answer questions from the audience. Congratulations to all of these student athletes on their exceptional accomplishment. National anti-bullying activist John Halligan visited Pembroke Middle School to deliver his powerful message. In his three presentations, Halligan covered the lessons learned too late about bullying, cyberbullying, and teen depression after his son, Ryan, committed suicide in 2003 at the age of 13 after being bullied by classmates in school and online. After watching the enlightening presentation, students met in their classrooms to discuss what they had learned about bullying prevention. But before he ended his presentation, he had one last message for the students. This long enough now to know that at least one person, at least one person in this room is going to take this story to heart, walk out of here, 
go up to somebody and simply say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the way I've been treating you. That apology, that real heartfelt apology will be life changing. This is the second time Halligan has visited a North Penn school. In 2009, he represented his message to the students at Pendale Middle School. The 7th Annual Buxmont Intermediate Honors Chorus Concert was held on Friday, November 8th at Penfield Middle School. 75 7th and 8th grade singers from the North Penn, Methacton, and Satterton School Districts were selected to participate in the event. The concert gave the students the opportunity to sing different styles of music and learn about music literature. Each of the participating choral directors conducted a selection of the program, and Mr. Matthew Clank, the North Penn High School Choral Con Director, also guest conducted at the concert. Congratulations to all of the students and faculty involved for a successful concert. Knapp Elementary School hosted its second annual parent camp in the beginning of November. Parent Camp 2, the Global Parent Teacher Unconference, featured a keynote from Dr. Adam Berman, who discussed parent-student communication. After the keynote, there are many breakout sessions, including college planning, IEP 101, technology, internet safety, and optimizing communication with your child, just to name a few. The day concluded with a live Skype conversation with a middle school in Texas that was also holding a student conference at the same time. Parents from North Penn quizzed the students from Texas about the use of technology in their lives. The day ended with a smackdown where attendees shared the day's experiences and recommendations for next year's parent conference. First grade students at General Nash Elementary School celebrated Reading is Fundamental Day. Students, staff members, and parent volunteers made crafts, listened to stories, and played games that involved the themes of reading and literacy. General Nash focused its brief day on Native American culture. At the end of the day, each child received a free book to take home. All other elementary schools in the district will also participate in RIF days throughout the year. In late spring, all first graders in the district will attend a special RIF day performance at the high school. Superintendent Dr. Kurt Dietrich continued his superintendent student council visits at Gwen Nor Elementary School. The students had the opportunity to give feedback to Dr. Dietrich regarding school academics and activities. Dr. Dietrich will be visiting every school in the district to meet with students and discuss possible improvements to their school. The North Penn Community Education Program is pleased to present their cultural cinema series. Here's a preview of the next North Penn Cinema Series, A Dancer's Dream, two works by Stravinsky. This September, in movie theaters around the world, music director Alan Gilbert and the New York Philharmonic will dare you to dream A Dancer's Dream a magical multimedia event featuring the music of Stravinsky and starring New York City ballet principal dancer Sarah Mearns. Filmed live in HD in Avery Fisher Hall at Lincoln Center for the Performing Arts. Experience the magic. Live the dream. A dancer's dream. Tickets can be purchased at NorthPennCinema.org or at the door. Adults are $5 and students are $3. Come out and see this amazing show next week. The Harlem Wizards are coming to North Penn High School on Saturday, January 25th at 7 p.m. The Wizards combine basketball talent with comedy to create a show that is fun for all ages and will verse the MPSD Dream Team in a fun-filled basketball game that night. The Dream Team is made up of various North Penn School District employees and alumni. Tickets to the event are on sale now for $10 and can be purchased at the following locations on your screen. All ticket sales will benefit the North Penn High School Booster Club. Don't miss out on this great event and purchase your tickets today. North Penn High School will be having its annual holiday concert on Wednesday, December 18th at 7.30 p.m. in the auditorium. 
The event will include performances by the orchestra, chorus, and band. After the concert, alumni are invited to enjoy refreshments in J-Pod. The concert and reception are free for all North Penn alumni and families. If you cannot attend the concert, you can watch it on MPTV. Come out and enjoy this festive musical event. Once again, the North Penn School District and Superintendent Dr. Curtis Dietrich are offering families the opportunity to talk one-on-one -on -one about important issues involving North Penn District schools. Monthly community conversations will be held at various locations within the district from now until April. The next meeting will be held at the MPSD Educational Service Center in Lansdale on Thursday, February 13th from 7 to 8 p.m. Seats are limited. Please call the number on your screen to reserve your seat today. That is all for this edition of North Penn News. I'm Lauren Schwartz. And I'm Aubrey Kenderdine. Just a reminder to check all our programming on youtube.com backslash MPTV. We live you with the Penfield 8th grade winter concert held last Tuesday on December 3rd. Have a great day.